bass. If it's a crappie, it's a nice one. Of course, you, huh? No, it's bass. <laughs> like when he was fighting, I didn't figure that was a crappie. Whoops. But if it's a crappie, you catch a nice crappie, he's going to fight like that, though. And you don't have a four pound test, though. There you go. All right, guys, guys, this is the first stop. That's a nice little bass, a little spot. Yeah, he's fat, isn't he? Yep. They're, they're filling up on shad. Christmas Eve, trying to catch some fish, guys. All right. Bring old hot hand with me. Is it crapping? So. Whatever it is, it's biting you pretty hard. Yeah, don't push him. Well, they might crap you. Well, they might crap you, bait. You catch a little bit of everything. You, yep. Well, I tell these guys all the time. I catch them most sometimes as many bass as I do crappy. And the crap, the bass fishermen out here going like, I ain't catching any bass. I say you need to use crappy baits. You need downsize. <laughs> all right, guys, we found some fish on the bottom. We're gonna find what they are. The crappy. Winter time, you got to fish, fish the bottom. Now, I had a young man ask me this at the boat ramp the other day. He said he went fishing, couldn't find any. I said you're not fishing deep enough. We're in 18 foot, and they're right on the bottom. That's a nice one too. <laughs> yep. he's, about, he's over 10, at 10, about 10 and a 16. All right, guys, I got my son with me today, guys. This is Christmas Eve. He he came home for Christmas, so we're out fishing. So let's see if we can catch a few more. Oh, nicer, yeah. Oh, all right, guys. We said we was gonna move looking for bigger fish, and I think Jeremiah found one. He's on them today. I'm oh, oh, got off. oh we lost him. That's okay. I'm just netting him. That was a nice one. There, he's probably 11 inches. Yeah, on these little baits, you gotta let them take their time. You can't force them. You gotta, cause they, you got a little hook, and oh, crap, you got a soft mouth anyway. You know, they can get off pretty easy. That's not a bad one either. A little bit, a little bit bigger than we've been catching. He ain't as big as the one you lost, but that's all right. We'll go find another big one. A little bit nicer. No, he's decent. He ain't huge. But see that little hook. I'm not gonna jerk him around. Oops, see there. Look, he came off in the net. When you when you netted him, I pulled a little bit. You can, if you get that hook all the way through the lip, you got him. But a crappy has that. So it's this, these thin spots like right here. See? They come off too easy when they're hooked in places like that. When you get him all the way through up here, you got him. Now he's not a bad one. He's probably nine and a half, nine and a quarter. We're going to catch an 11, 12 inch, yeah. Just a matter of time. But that was on an ugly combination there. Pink head, orange body. <laughs> That's a decent one. You should have probably never, huh? He might be, he's probably, he's not 10 inches, but he's trying to be there. He's about nine and a half, nine and five eighths. Yeah, probably that area. He's over nine, isn't he? We're after that lab mentor yet. I changed that flash color. Wow. <laughs> On these altar lights, boy, they feel like they're twice that size, don't they? <laughs> Come on, I get all the fun out of him. <laughs> Here you go. You need help? He just, he's not that big. It's that little hook though. When you pick him up, that's usually when they come off. Well, he's not a bad one though. He's not quite 10. He might surprise you though. I think so. He's nine something. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. He's so close to 10. It's pitiful. I got one. Look. <laughs> Oh, he, this is the 10 inch mark right here. He's right there. He's <laughs> huh? a 30 second from being yeah. 10 inches. I figured he's nine and a half, nine and five eighths. Like I said, they'll fool you. It's hard to get it perfect sometimes, but we'll take 10 inch fish for uh, Christmas Eve. Bam. Double. Bam. My God, we just moved a little way. We're just kicking off the trolling motor. And we're seeing fish almost constantly. Um, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but I said this earlier in the video. Some people have been at, oh, mine got off, Jeremiah. Mine was a nice one. 
people was, uh, well, no, nah, he was over 10 inches. People were asking me how to catch them, and that's what we're doing. See, here, you see a couple right there. We're in the channel. It's 19 foot. I'm just kicking off the trolling motor, and when we see a couple, we cast to them. There's a bunch here, isn't it? Yeah. They just scatter that roaming around. It's going to be a decent one. Set it off the light rod, they feel big. That's what makes it fun. That's why I like using the seven foot light. Uh, well, these are these are light action. They're not ultra light. They're light action. Uh, and that's got two pound test on it. Bam! That's a decent one. I got a white perch, and he's got a he got a decent crappie, huh? Well, that one I said was nine and a half was ten, so that one's over ten. <laughs> he come up and he came out of the water. He had that head just a shaking. You were trying to get rid of it, wasn't you? Yeah, this cold water, they fight different. Oh, cutie. That was a cutie right there. I was, what? <laughs> Doubles. I was watching the screen, guys, and I said, there's a fish coming up through the water column. Jeremiah says, Cause I, he says, because I got him on my rod. <laughs> I was watching, what is that fish doing? <laughs> he was playing me, guys. That is a nice one. I think it is the biggest one of the day. Mine's, uh, mine just is. <laughs> Ooh, we're having some Christmas Eve fun, guys. Whew. Catching a few fish. I think it's the first time we've got to fish together for a long time. So we're out getting, we're out getting some fishing done, guys. Catching a few here and there. Like I said, we've been in the same area. But as far as we can look both ways, all we've been, because the fish are moving. We get a couple cast at them, and then they're, they're gone. That bunch, that bunch, I think, is gone already. But they're just little specks on the bottom, as you can see right there. And that's what we're casting at. So if you're fishing cold water, that's 47 degrees. Most lakes, crappie, a crappie should act the same on most lakes. If the water's cold, they're going to get in the channel, and they're going to run the bottom. They're going to hang the bottom. And when the, um, when the water starts warming here in the spring, then they'll change, you know. It's going to be usually February here, late February. You start seeing a change in how they act, and they'll start moving a little shallow, they'll start moving to cover again. Mine's a monster, though. I, mine's bigger than yours. Plus, we have the same fish. Now, I know guys are watching going like, what did he just say? Guys, that happened to me one time. A friend and I was fishing. Oh, I got a nice one. I told you mine. Oh! Don't you love don't you love that guys? You know what I always say? Don't grab the line. That's what I done. I grabbed the line and guess what happened? The fish come off and the bait went like this, right? And the hook lands in the bottom of your hand. Doesn't that feel good? That's what you gotta watch by grabbing that line. How fat they are though. That's a nice one. He's about ten. You grab that line, you take a chance. But what I was telling y'all guys. A friend of mine was throwing, we was throwing three inch smoke grubs. We was bass fishing. Uh, okay. And this was years ago when we was on the hot side of Anna. So some of y'all don't, whether that's me of Virginia, you know what I'm talking about. And we were throwing up in shallow water, five foot of water, so, and the fish were breaking some, and he threw and I cast, and our baits landed about two foot apart, almost the same time. He said, I got one. I said, I got one. He said, I lost mine. I said, I still got mine. I said, I lost mine. He said, I've got one. I got another one. We done it all the way back and forth the boat. I lost mine. He said, I got one. He said, something's funny here. I said, yes, it is. We got to the boat. He had both baits in his mouth. He had his bait in his mouth and my bait. Evidently, when my bait hit the water, he grabbed it or his, and his bait hit like a foot and a half front apart, but all it was, a two foot the most. That, that bass muster just rolled over and grabbed his too. <laughs> How often that going to happen? <laughs> He's everywhere. Oh, he's everywhere. I told him. I can say. Oh, he's Swiss, guys. He's, he's using the tea and tea and warm. We're going to go in. we got to start cooking some supper and some food for tomorrow. I said, here, try something more different bait before you, uh, before you go in. Because um, Jeremiah he's, is the young man that made the site and puts all the baits on there. So he knows all the baits. He ain't got to fish with all of them yet. But that little worm, that's small and it's skinny. I've said this before, but it works. He's got a lot of action, being that tail segmented, it just moves really easy. Oh, that's why I thought I'd catch one more and we catch one more and we're going. 
he was a fighter. Bam, all right, guys, we got to go in and do some cooking, do some eating. So there's just an opportunity Christmas Eve here to get the fish for Jeremiah. Like saying, Jeremiah's the site master, puts the pictures on there, works on the site, keeps it going. I keep him busy adding on new stuff all the time. <laughs> he likes that. But I call him and say, I got new stuff we're adding on. All right, guys. <laughs> you like it all? <laughs> all right. And somebody asked me about my, show y'all how to use my death finder. I unplugged my battery. I got a separate battery for it. Uh, I'm not going to get into that because I'm not great with death finders. But you just gonna have to set it up and it's like everything else the more you use it it's like when you buy a new phone the more you use it you play with it you get good at it but you constantly constantly got to be changing the settings on it uh set your set your rock uh, color brightness to about 80 85 you constantly got to be changing your sensitivity from you go to shallow water to deep water and your depth your forward range out and in smaller you make your screen bigger everything gets there you go there's the fast 101 on live scope see y'all guys